Hey, what's up everybody? Suave Bet here. In this short video, we're going to go through how to get the Galaxy S6 gifts without actually owning the Samsung Galaxy S6. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is to download Genymotion. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. They require us to make an account, so let's proceed with that. Uh, let's see. You know, type in a username. It will be Suave Bet and give him an email swapbet at gmail.com should work password okay and we don't need any of this marketing stuff oh wait we got to accept right the privacy statement fine we'll create and now we got to go verify our account so let's head on over to gmail and we got the confirmation email with the account activation email, I mean. So uh, let's see. Okay, I guess I got a little distracted here. Just checking up. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, focus, Steve, focus. Okay, so we just gotta click the link there. And our account is activated. So now we can continue and the download should begin. Now, once that's done, we begin installation. So let's okay there next 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 a lot of nexus so yeah I'm gonna speed up the next portion once the installation is done let's fire up Genie motion and let's give this a sec to load all right and we just read this Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's only for personal use. It's great. Just accept it. Uh, yes, we want to add a device, and the device we're looking for is the Galaxy S5, actually. And I don't see it. Oh yeah, because I gotta log in, of course. So oh, let me just type in my username and password. Sign in. And let's look for the Galaxy S5. I've also seen in the forums, some people have tried using the Nexus 7. I believe that's worked as well. But the guide that we're following uses the S5. So let's just stick with that. Okay. All right, let's hit next. And again, he's gonna go ahead and download the files to create this virtual device. When Genny has finished installing the files, let's hit finish. And we should see the Samsung Galaxy X S5 in our list of virtual devices. We can go ahead and hit settings first if you're curious. Um, I, like I was. But yeah, you don't need to go into settings. You can actually just hit start. So we will start up the virtual machine. When it's done loading, you should see the start screen as if you boot it up for the first time on a Galaxy S5. Let's hit, hit OK there. And what we want to do first is go into the settings. So let's go to settings and we're looking for security. And we want to enable unknown sources. This will allow us to install the Amazon App Store app. Yeah, for some reason, this it's not in the Google Play Store, so we actually have to Google it. Amazon App Store APK. Don't worry, this is completely safe. So, <laughs> it'll be the first result. Uh, download the App Store. And, okay, whoops. Let's, yep, let's click that. It's just okay, let's install it. App Store has been installed. I'm going to fire it up, uh, hit continue, log in with your Amazon account. So I'm going to type that in here and the password. Sign in. And let's go to my apps. I believe I already have Hearthstone, so I should see it in the cloud. Oh, let's 
not there. It's weird. Well, no biggie. Let's just search for it. Hearthstone. Free. Yep, that's the one. Let's get the app. Wait. Okay. Yeah. It says I already have it. So I guess it just took it a little bit of time to refresh. But yeah, it's there. So let's hit install. And this will take a moment. It's quite a big file. 650 megs. All right, when it's finished downloading, it'll initiate the installation. So let's give it a couple of seconds here. Okay, there it goes. We wanna hit install. Give it a couple more seconds here. Once it's done installing, you wanna stop. Just hit done. Don't open the app. Uh, so it'll take you back out to the app store. Okay, we're back in the app store. Let's go back to the home screen. And the next thing you wanna do is go to file manager. Um, okay, hit okay here. And we're going to hit the little gearbox in the lower left, go to general settings. We want root access. Okay, this will allow us to edit and save the system files. Okay, we wanna allow it. Uh, yes, I'm going to allow it again. And let's go back. That's fine. Not sure why it's a, that's an error, but that's okay. Let's go to system and find the build.prop file. We want to open it with the editor. So we want to change a couple of things. One, let's change generic to Samsung. Uh, hit return, and we're going to add RO dot product dot model that equals uh, let's see the number is sm dash g920 f okay i'm going to save that in the upper right the floppy disk and we can close this now and let's restart it Oh, a disclaimer here. Um, before, when I shut it down, I don't think I shut it down properly. So it took it a while to load up. Um, but either way, it'll, it's still loaded up fine. And let's fire up Hearthstone now. Okay, lighting the hearth. Or lighting the hearth. Lighting the hearth. Because right, Hearthstone is a hearthstone. Hearthstone. In any case, let's go. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Okay. Now, I don't know if this process is allowed or not by Blizzard. Hopefully my account doesn't get suspended. Okay, let's touch to start. Sign in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna type in your email for Battle.net and the password. Hit return to log in and I have an authenticator so uh, if you have this, you'll need to pull up the app with the authenticator, find that number, punch it in, you should be good to go. Moment of truth, guys, moment of truth. So what's it going to be? Oh, we got it. We did it. So there it is. We got the three packs. We got the card back. So there you go, that's how you do it. Uh, getting the Samsung Galaxy S6 gifts in Hearthstone without actually having to own the Galaxy S6. All right, thanks a lot guys. Catch you later. Swap that out.